Um, did, did that sort of highlight how big a task this is for these next two months? Okay. I know, yeah, I think it's a big, big task. You're managing Chelsea Football Club. You know, we know we're not in a position we want to be in. But there's always a reason for it. In reality of. Uh, of the league season, um, so I was aware of that, you know, and, and I didn't expect to solve everything in one day. Um, so at the same time, yeah, maybe a bit of it. I think it was a performance that, you know, if I really analyse it, and you want to win a Premier League game, I think you have to have more aggression in your game, um, more speed, more competitive duels that go your way rather than the opposition. That baseline of stuff is uh, with a team that are fighting for their Premier League lives as such will always dictate the. The turning of the, the result of the game, regardless of the talent, maybe on each side. So, I think there was a little bit of that today. Um, the players need to be aware of that because without that, you can't win games and you can't be the team that maybe Chelsea have been at different times and we want to get back to. So, it was a, uh, it was interesting to see in many ways, and I'm here to help with that. It's not, this is not stinging criticism. This is like, okay, what are the reasons why we we, we maybe can be like that at times? Find that, and um, I know there's a lot of talent there in the squad, I've seen that in the last couple of days. Um, and I'm looking forward to working more with it. How did it feel, Frank, so today, getting the team ready? Did it feel, feel surreal, or did it just feel as though you'd not really been away? Um, somewhere in the middle, because four or five days ago, you know, I was planning different stuff, you know what I mean? So uh, that part of it's surreal. Um, being Chelsea manager it doesn't feel too different to me, and I'm not taking it lightly like that. I just say this has been my club for a long time, so I really appreciate being back. I love being at Cobham, I love representing the club. Um, but the, the practical side is what bother, you know, matters to me, and that's you know seeing the players, training with the players. Some players I haven't been able to have much conversation with at all yet because of the time constraint, um, and that's important for me. So no, I'm, I'm I'm very happy to be back. I'm, I'm disappointed I couldn't give the fans a win on my first game back. Um, but we go again. You know, we've got a huge game waiting for us on Wednesday, where everything changes. It's the Champions League, the build-up, the feeling. Um, I'm very excited about that. Two, sorry, two Thank things. Uh, first of all, I've been asking everyone this uh, since January. Uh, can you just give us a rundown on the people who weren't in the squad? Kante, uh, Bettinelli, Mount, Ziyech, Fofana, David Fofana, Aspiriqueta, Chukwuemeka, Maduka. How many of them are unfit? Uh, Kante is a is a, is a mani managing one, so he's fit. But we know we, we know that after his injury, the idea of game 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 is too much. Um, Aspie's nearly fit, training with us last one, one or two days. Needs a little bit of fitness, but uh, he's he's better. Um, Mason had a, a feeling in his pelvic area, the injury that he's been carrying the last two days. So he trained in those two days, but was struggling a bit. Uh, Bettinelli's got a small problem, no big deal. Um, they're the injured ones. And just on the game itself, all season it's been a problem in my eyes, but when the team plays out from the back, nothing happens. There's no movement ahead. Uh, there's no perceived way of actually playing out from the back. Um, it looks as though they need to start from scratch in terms of game plan. It's your opinion, it's by I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, yeah, my, my job, as I say, in uh, in this period, is to work with the team to give the idea that I want and reinforce that. And of course, in in two days, it's difficult. Um, I was relying on the the, the the players and today a little bit and giving some messaging, which we did as much as we could. We saw some bits of it, um, but in terms of the lower part of the pitch, I think our players can all receive the ball and accept the ball. But if, if I'm agreeing with you in any part there, it's that you receive an acceptable down low because you, you want to progress up the pitch. Um, and you have to find the right solutions and that which means the right positions and the right ideas. And that takes some work. So they'll be part of the process. And also you have to have options where you can play over or out of a press. Um, so we have to be able to do that as well, my opinion. So hopefully it will change a bit in your opinion, Spike. <laughs> Frank, can I, can I ask, um, how do you instill that aggression and bite though in you know, just a few days in such a short space of time? Because I think everyone here would agree you've got a collection of really talented players, that, that's kind of obvious, mm. but it's not a function at the moment and it's Real Madrid on Wednesday, that a little bit, probably a little bit worried for some. You know, if you're worried, then you know, don't come. The players won't. The players shouldn't be. 
You know, that's it's an absolute carrot for them. And when they sign for Chelsea, every player in that squad, whether it's um, Natal Kovacic, who's won two Champions League and played in World Cups, semis or whatever, finals, um, you really deserve to play for Chelsea. Or if you've just arrived and you're Mudrick and you come here, you've, you've had your pathway to get here. So you're here for a reason. But to expect everything to come together as a squad is maybe not necessarily the case. I don't, I'm not saying that this squad doesn't have the aggression and, and those things. It's just bringing it together. And sometimes a bit of confidence, a thing can look like aggression. You know, lack of confidence can come, sometimes look like aggression to the eye. But as a team, I think we, we were up against a team that were very aggressive today. And maybe there were some second balls and jewels and things like that that we, that we weren't quite uh, at. And, and I don't mind saying it because it has, to be, it has to be said to be a reality to be dealt with, you know what I mean? And, and that's uh, um, something that I felt today. Wednesday will be a completely different game, but those things are always still there in some form or another. So um, we've got a few days to recover, prepare and, um, and go again. Okay. I've got a last one here from Liam. Hi, Liam. Hi, Liam. Um, how confident are you of having N'Golo ready for Madrid? And um, are there going to be any more additions to your backroom team? So Ashley Cole, Gerald Woods, Chris Jones, there? Yeah, I can't speak about the back room for some reason other than what you saw. So you can, you know, you can write what you saw almost or whatever. But um, no, Ungalo will be fine. Yeah, as it stands now, he, uh, it, as, I, as I said, there was completely managing him for the to be fit for the game. It's not an issue as such.